Hello and welcome back everyone, and Wolf here with more Mass Effect. Where we last left off, we were still on the planet of Eden Prime, where we were going to the other cargo platform where the Prothean Beacon was being had well had been transferred. Upon disabling some bombs that uh, Saren and the Geth had left there to basically destroy the colony. We approached the Prothean Beacon and it seemed to give Commander Shepard here a vision of synthetics basically raining, causing destruction. And obviously then the Prothean Beacon consequently exploded. Uh, the Council, the Citadel Council that is, probably won't be too impressed. And uh, we're now on our way to the Citadel to report the situation. So, yeah, let's get ourselves underway. Let's go see Joker and tell him where we need to go. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Tower, please proceed to dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Saren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. You said it, Ashley. I think his first name's Donald. Donald Odina, the um, Human Ambassador for the Human Systems Alliance. He's very... He's very something. To put it politely. Sure is peaceful here. Big place. I wasn't trying to talk to you a second time, but fair enough. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <laughs> That's racist. Um, 
yeah, we'll keep that. So welcome to the Presidium, I think it's called. One of the inner rings of the Citadel. Obviously you saw it as we approached on board the Normandy. It's split into various wards. Oh, we can uh, decrypt that computer console. Interesting. Yeah, there's plenty of exploring to do. I imagine this could make up a few videos, actually, depending on what we end up doing. I would like to explore this. And the Presidium, as well as various wards. I think there's a couple of um, shops we can play with as well. Though we don't really have the credits to spend. Keep an eye out for some, some manufacturer licenses as well. I think we can pick up a couple while we're here. Fairly close to our next level as well. We probably want a bit more survivability. I'm tempted to unlock barrier for Shepard. It's probably important. Kaiden went down quite easily last time, but it does have barrier. We just may need to make it in increase its duration. We'll see. Actually, you have a lot of survivability right now. But we can't. Your heavy armor isn't unlocked just yet. But we'll wait and see. Anyhow, so let's... Um, so we've been told by Ambassador Odina to meet them at... The elevator, well, the, t the the council chambers, which is in the centre of the Presidium. We can go there momentarily. We'll do a bit of exploration first. Let's do a quick save before we do this descrip description. Decryption. Manual override. There you go. Alliance patrol report. Captain Hendrickson reports some unusual energy readings during the patrol at the Argus Row Cluster. She had political, particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before a team could investigate. I don't know if that's important, but I may want to, may want to work, write it down somewhere. Two moments. Oh, notepad. So, Argos. And the Hydra system. See, it may not be relevant. It might just be something of interest for the law, but you never know. We got us some experience, nonetheless. And I think it unlocked something for the Codex. Like we should have may as well. What is our Codex button again? This one. Mock all entries that viewed. As viewed, um... Maybe the terminus system. Don't really want to know. Secondary. The ter the terminus system. Do I want to know about the terminus the systems? The city. Okay, never mind. So let's go exploring, shall we? Of our diplomatic quarters. With some. What are these races called? Like, oh, I suppose we'll find out together. These allegations are very serious. I can't just. This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consort in confidence and her alone. And she betrayed that confidence. Alright. I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. So we've heard something about a consort. Hello. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Den. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Corla. Volus Ambassador, is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Who are the Volus? I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. 
we were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. And they have a rather large chip on their shoulder because of it. In general, anyway. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. Interesting. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. Subtle hint. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Din. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Elcor part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. What I would say is, the medigel we were using to heal ourselves and battle, it's kind of like a universal healer. You can basically put it on any wound and it slowly seals it up. Men's broken bones and such. Obviously, doctors are still important, but medigel is important mostly on the battlefield. And it's not just suitable for humans, it can be used for all the races, I believe. And Medigel is the gift that humanity give the Council races. At least, that's what I've read. I could be mistaken again, though, feel free to correct me. But that might be why humanity's part of, well, not officially part of Citadel Council, but why they have, why some races see them in a higher esteem compared to their own race. But, we still have something to ask him. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <clears throat> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. The potential reasons why, obviously, the Volus may not have been given a position on the main Citadel Council is because of their own government type being so malleable. Maybe decisions they would agree with at one point would then change later. I don't know though, I try to avoid politics as much as possible. Uh, let's talk to the uh, Elcor ambassador, Kaelin. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kaelin. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Um, let's learn about the Elcor. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. 
proudly. Within one lifetime, we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. So yeah, they're very monotonous, which is how I normally describe my voice, actually. But um, yeah, to explain that, the Elcor are very open with their responses, so you know if they have emotional... Um, emotional stake, I should think, or should say, in what they're talking about. My mouse is being a bit funny today. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Din. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Thank you very much for talking to us. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Thank you. And you were having some remarks about the consult before. Will you talk to us? Hello there, human. Sincere apology. But I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Good luck with your problem. Thanks to you, human. Good day. And to you. So he's a bit embarrassed about the situation. Obviously something occurred. The hell are you? Well, I know what you are, but you're yeah, still creepy as hell even after all this time. Those are the Citadel Keepers. They're not really a race on the Citadel. They. <coughs> Thank you, Kaiden. They happened to be here when the Citadel was discovered. It wasn't built by anyone. They discovered this Prophean construct here in the Widow system. At least I think it's called the Widow system. And the Keepers were here, maintaining it after all these years. Obviously the Protheans were around. Oh, can't go that through that doorway. Yeah, the Protheans haven't been seen for 50,000 years. So we finally left the Ambassatorial wing. In fact, let's use our map. Here is the Presidium. We should... Oh. So it's not just this section. We have, obviously... This is the diplomatic section, including CSEC headquarters, which is Citadel Security. The Embassy Lounge, which is kind of like a... A bar, a relaxation area for, obviously, the diplomats who are here. We have the console chambers. We've heard about Shai, uh, 
Sha'ira. Obviously, we can go maybe visit her. And then, obviously, we have the Citadel Tower, where obviously the Council um, are, where we need to meet. We have our destination here. There are various um, taxi routes you can take. There's obviously one here to Seasec Academy. Uh, you can use the taxi routes to quick travel rather than run around everywhere. We have the Emporium. And we have a bank here. Oh, hello. I don't know why that opened my journal, but so be it. So we'll continue exploring. As I say, it's going to be... We'll take it very slowly. Avina is over there. Quickly, should I play with my audio slightly? Mm, seems fine. Hello there. Um, actually, have we met any Asari yet? We don't. I don't think we have. I think this is the first Asari we encounter. The receptionist here in the obviously diplomatic uh, embassy. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Interesting. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. What's that? Oh, Avina is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. Thank you. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. That's fair. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Obviously, you could learn more about the Asari, but as a brief tip, they are a monogendered species. Um, they all look typically female, even though they don't particularly have a gender. They basically have an ability to. I'm trying to how to how to describe it properly. They have ability to transfer the. DNA from various other races and combine it with their own to give birth to another Asari, regardless of what race, obviously, they mate with, pair with. Pair with sounds a bit better. So, yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, I, I, of course, the main feature is they are all natural biotics. In addition to them having long lifespans, I think they generally live for approximately a thousand years, give or take. And the Asari, as a race, tend to have particular stages in their development. From, I'm trying to figure what the first, the Maiden, the Maiden stage, then the Matron stage, and then the Matriarch stage, which is kind of their, like, three stages of, I hate to say puberty, but their mental development. I think normally the first 200 years are kind of an Asari's wild, wild years, as you could call it. So, we were told about Avina here. Who looks particularly Asari in design. Let's uh, learn more about her, our virtual assistant, our virtual guide, here on the Presidium. Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So, are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. 
The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. How come the Bolas were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. This is probably a good time to talk about Avena and the difference between VI and AI. Obviously you have virtual intelligence and artificial intelligence. The GIF themselves are artificial intelligence. They have sentience, they think for themselves in a manner of speaking. Whereas virtual intelligence like Avena here are preset to have certain responses to certain questions and they don't go outside of those constraints they can't grow as a program they are just inputted with answers for people's questions they each have their own job to do basically there are other VIs um, I think some armors later on have VIs to like reactivate your shields, reactivate your kinetic barriers. Little monotonous, like little autonomous jobs that you really should need to do manually all the time. But simple things like that, whereas AI is banned in Citadel space for obviously what occurred between the Quarians and the Geth, which we'll learn about later on. Let's uh, learn more about obviously the Basidium here, which is why Avena is here. So she mentioned that this place here in the Presidium is home to the embassies and CSEC. I want to know more about Citadel Security. Citadel Security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Thank you. Um, what can you tell me about Spectres? Anything? Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. Interesting. And last but not least, let's learn about the Citadel Council. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Hmm. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. Of course she's My not. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Thank you.
So let's go and investigate CSEC headquarters and the lounge here. I've got its name already. Oh, it is called Lounge. Hey. Must have been must have stayed in my head subliminally. So we have another room here. Hello there. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Well, I'm glad you think so. Oh, diplomatic archive. Got something new in our codex. I keep pressing the wrong button. The Elcor are the Volus are a Okay. The Asari were ah. the first species. So yeah. Biotics is the a virtual intelligence is an advanced form of user interface software. Thank you. Have a Turian diplomat here. We have another keeper. We'll learn about them later. An Elcor. Oh, hello. Can we talk to you? Human delighted welcome. It is good to meet you. Thank you. I like the Elcor. I really do like them as a race. Keep forgetting what their race is called, which may be racist of me. But it's a video game, so I'm sure it'll forgive me. Oh, hello. You keep getting stuck. Executor Palin. The current head of Citadel Security. Current head sounds like he's going to die, and to be honest, I don't know if he does or not, so... Yeah, that wasn't me foreshadowing or anything. I apologize if it seemed that way. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I want to know more about CSEC, actually. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Yeah, as it says, it's kind of a civilian, not contract job, but they aren't an official militaristic arm of each race. Each race has its own standing army. CSEC is just here to preserve the peace here on Citadel Station. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. And of course, yeah, Spectres and Seasick probably don't get along. Let's find out why. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Yeah, it's true. I'm not going to say that. It's a bit unfair to him. I agree with Air uh, Palin's thoughts, but... I suppose sometimes you do need to go beyond the normal convention of the law as long as it doesn't actually hurt innocence in the long run, I suppose you could say. But that's my own personal philosophy, which isn't really cemented. Let us um, continue talking to him. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. The Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to like it. I'm not going to raise my voice at him. I like Palin. What can you tell us about the investigation? Anything? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. That's fair. I'm glad that he's actually upfront about and just shutting us down. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Is there anything else we can do here? Oh. Well, should we really be hacking, decrypting a console in the head of Citadel's CSEC? We probably should. He might get upset with us. Let's just not tell let's not tell him. Diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Music's went a bit dark and dramatic. 
Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Edda Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Okay. In the Hawking Edda Cluster. That's something about biotics. I should write that down. Okay. Interesting. Don't mind me. I wasn't doing anything behind that see-through screen. I don't remember who you are, but I remember not liking you for some reason. And I apologize profusely. You didn't seem actually all that bad. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... She's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. Ah, Lions Marines. What do you want? Oh, Commander. <coughs> is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... Things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. <laughs> oh, dear. So, we've learned a little bit more about the Asari consort. Is there anyone else we can talk to? For some reason, I think we need to talk to you at some point. From what I remember. Wow, your eyes. Or the uh, your eye shadow actually made your eyes look huge from over here. Holy hell. Who are you and why don't I like you? I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. That's probably why. Hello, bartender. Are you going to be like a stereotypical bartender and have knowledge about everything and help me with my... With my troubles. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try... Flux or Cora's Den. Thank you. So, actually, you can talk to us about the Asari Consort. What is Shaira's? The Consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Hmm. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well... Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier, all at the same time. Well, uh, thanks. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. Thank you. Is there anything else behind here? Another keeper? We should really be trying to remember where all these keepers are, but we'll talk about that later. So, that's the embassies discovered. We've done a lot of talking. We're going to be doing even more talking. If this isn't your thing... Um... Are you just float? Oh, there you go. She's a Dalek. She really is. 
if you're not interested in a lot of talking, a lot of dialogue, feel free to use... Um, obviously, look at the titles. I'm probably going to mark the videos. Um, we will eventually go see the Citadel Council, but I want to explore the Presidium first. Um, we'll probably explore the Presidium, go to see the Council, and then from there we'll be going down into the marketplaces and obviously exploring things like Flux or Chora's Den. But um, we'll get the Presidium out of the way first, and there is plenty more we have got to see. But uh, yeah, obviously we'll leave this video here. So feel free to comment below. This of course has been Anfwolf playing Mass Effect. I hope you've all enjoyed. And I hope you all take care. See you all next time. Bye bye now.